Evening, I'm Claudine Ewing. After six people were shot in Lockport this weekend and a young girl was killed, neighbors came together tonight to remember a life and call for an end to the violence. The shooting happened at a home on South Niagara Street just after midnight Saturday, where police say a large Halloween party ended with gunfire and led to the death of a 21-year-old girl, Cheyenne Farewell, a Brockport College student and Medina High School grad. Here's Channel 2's Liz Lewin. And we all tried so hard, and everyone that was there helping us, we could have to stop. Hannah and Lillian are from Lockport. They're also Cheyenne Farewell's friends. Some of my friends saw it, and one of my friends, like, personally got shot. It could have been any one of my friends. Alongside nearly 100 other members of the Lockport community, these teens congregated outside Refuge Temple of Christ to mourn the loss of their friend and to pray for five other friends who were also shot at that same Halloween party. They were kids. They were young people. They weren't bad kids. God is the one who ordained their futures and someone took them out before they could fulfill the reason that God made them. The open mic vigil led by Pastor Mark Sanders brought out a diverse crowd, one unified, however, in purpose to stop the uptick in violence. I don't care whether you're from Barker, you're from Wilson, you're from New Fame, it could have been your child. One father with tears running down his face took to the mic for his daughter, who was one of the other five people shot. Kiara was shot three times. My daughter was in surgery for seven hours last night. This has got to stop. If anybody knows anything, forget all the codes, forget all the bull crap. Come forward, please. We need justice for our babies. Pastor Sanders made his message to the community clear, quote, I'm speaking out of anger, but with love in my heart, end quote. Like many of the people there tonight, he too is calling for justice. How are we going to heal our community when nobody wants to cooperate? As of right now, Lockport police have not released any new information regarding the shooters or this investigation in Lockport. Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.